guys, this is Jay Panda here and welcome back to another episode of Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, Link robbed the bank of time and he ran into the, Liz the Lizalfos guards who were keeping watch over any intruders. No, really guys, this is the Temple of Time. I I think it looks like a bank though, like one of those old historical buildings that used to be a bank. Like that's what it reminds me of because of all, of all the columns and arches and the white marble floors. But anyway, this is the Temple of Time and we're going to continue on through eight floors of this stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this. We haven't even made it through half of this yet. Well, actually, I think we might have because we've already been on some of the upper floors. Because I think we got the compass. We got the map. I know that for sure. But anyway, there's something in this room I wanted to show you. I'm like super excited about this part because I found a way where we can get... Well, I didn't know there were more of these guys. But anyway, let's do the helm splitter. Yeah, I love doing the helm splitter on those guys. I'm sorry, it's just so much fun. But yeah, I found a way to get this Poe soul before you're actually supposed to. So can I show you guys? I really, I really want to show you this. This is awesome. Because really, you're supposed to get the item of the dungeon first before you come back down here and get the, this particular Poe. But what you can do is take your ball and chain and you want to aim it for that statue. Because what you're trying to do is see... Oh, look. We almost got it. What you're trying to do is um, get that statue down off of the um wall up there so you have to kind of let's see i think we yes we got it awesome so see this is totally possible you can get the statue down just by using your ball and chain and i'm going to see how far this actually goes when i throw it let's see that goes about one two three-ish squares so we need to line ourselves up in the middle there is a switch on the other side of this um thing a majig so we're aiming for that um that's not it okay we need to be a little closer i think not too close though because we don't want it oh man I don't think I made it. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Um. Oh gosh. I'm really nervous about this. Okay. Let's see. That's about one, two, three. Oh, maybe a little closer. Oh, come on. I can do this. I know I can do this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. I got it. Right when I... Oh my gosh. That, that was awesome, guys. That was so freaking awesome. I'm sorry. Usually, like, when I throw it in there, I have to readjust it a little bit um, by using the ball and chain. But this time, I didn't even have to. So, I'm very proud of myself for doing that. I mean, like I said, you do not have to do that in that way by any means. You can always wait until you get near the end of the dungeon and get the item from the dungeon or whatever. But that's like the less boring way. That makes things more exciting for me because I love doing things 
in the way that it's not intended to do them in. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like I, I just love doing them, doing things and solving problems in a creative way. Um, I'm trying to see where I'm supposed to go next. I remember I left off um, the last episode not knowing exactly where I'm supposed to go, but... And I did a little bit of backtracking there just so that I can get that postal, because I, kn I knew where it was. Um, let me look at my map and see... Exactly. I think there's a chest I didn't get. There's a couple chests I didn't get, actually, but some of those I can't get yet, and I don't know if I need to go in that door or if I need to go in this door again. We'll see. We'll, we'll go ahead and check. Okay, I remember, I remember this room for sure. I don't think I need to go here again. At least not yet. Oh boy, a Beemos. Oh, one thing I learned recently, like I just learned this literally the other day, is that apparently in Ocarina of Time, um, no, let's see, I need to go, yeah, I know what I need to do. Apparently in Ocarina of Time, um, there was supposed to be a light temple originally, but they took it out, I guess. And I guess the, the spirit temple must have took its place or something. I don't know. But um, the light temple apparently was supposed to be connected to the sacred realm, you know, where um, you talk to the sages and they give you the medallions or whatever. Why is not this thing moving come on but apparently it was supposed to be linked to that and I think linked to the temple of time but they never used it so um like I'm wondering if that was actually if they used some of their ideas for the light temple in this temple I mean, it would make a lot of sense if they did, just considering the fact all of the references that's from Ocarina of Time that's in this temple. Because the white um, medallion symbol is pretty much everywhere. Like, you can see it. Well, I'm trying to find, like, an area where you see the white medallion. And there's just a oh, crowd. There's spiders everywhere, even though I killed this, or killed them, like, literally one second ago. And I'm using the word, the word literally, like, way too much, but... Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna start taking them out with my arrows. Because this is taking too long, and I really need to progress because it's probably getting boring for you guys since I've, I'm replaying all of this crap. But anyway, yeah, like, I'm kind of wondering if they did use some of the puzzles from that, from the light temple that they were going to do in the Ocarina of Time in this dungeon because, um, of all the references that, you know, they have the light medallion everywhere. And also, there's a lot of other motifs that make this temple seem like a light temple. I mean, there's these golden railings and the, all the arches and the, um, um, what is it called? The columns. Like, it, it just makes this place seem very heavenly and light. I don't know. That's how it seems to me. Um, let's see. I don't want to get hit again. Okay, let's hurry up and go over here. 
So yeah, that that actually makes a lot more sense for this particular tent. Oh, I forgot. I have to stand on it first. Because this temple doesn't really remind me too much of um, time. I mean, considering the fact... I mean, of course, you know... Um, shoot. We're in this room again, and I'm pretty sure we got all the stuff. Yeah, I'm de probably gonna have to cut some of this out because I don't remember where to go. Okay, so now I, now I understand. We do need to go through this room again to progress. I think... Last time, I don't know, I might have went through this part before, but just forgot about it, I guess. Because there is a upstairs that we can go through over here. So, yeah, sorry guys, I'm showing you all of the places where we... Oh, no, no, Beamos, don't get me. Sorry that I'm showing you all of the places we've been before, but I just... It just takes a little bit of a refresher. And now I understand why I got lost the first time. Because that wall was blocking the staircase. So now I understand and now we can go on through. And wait a minute. Okay, never mind. I'm making sure that... I'm not forgetting any treasure chests. I don't think I am because there's some that we can't get yet. Hold on, I'm trying to do... Yay! I love doing the helm splitter on these enemies even though I don't really need to. But see, look! Right here on the floor, there's the light medallion. Like, that's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of light motifs in the Temple of Time. And I don't think it's a coincidence. I really don't. I mean, really, like, I think there should be, like, winged cherubs in here. Like, winged cherub statues. That would be kind of cool. Oh, gosh. Now, now there's an armed... Was Alphos. Now I definitely want to do the helm splitter on you. That is just so much fun. And I just realized something. Oh gosh, there's an electric current here. I realized that um, I haven't even used the bomblings yet. Like I bought bomblings like. I don't know how many episodes ago, like maybe 10 or 15 episodes, it seems like. It doesn't seem, I mean, it seems like it's been a while since I've, oh, come on. Can I not do the helm splitter? Oh man, I want to do my fancy moves on, the, on these enemies, but it's not letting me. Come on. Oh man! There, finally! Oh, okay, I need to hit the switch again. Yeah, we have all these sim switches around. I call them sims switches because they look like the things that are on top of the sims' heads. You know, like the ones that you control. That's what it reminds me of. Like, I don't know. But anyway, I don't think we've been in this room yet. So we will get to see some new rooms. And oh no, more spiders. I hate spiders so much. Like, they scare the crap out of me. I'm not joking. Like, every time I see a spider, I scream and run in the other direction. And these spiders, I don't even know what kind of spiders they are, to be honest. I don't think I've seen any spiders that look like this. 
but hopefully I never will see any. Like they look swollen, like they're pregnant or something, but I think these are actually baby spiders. Um, come on, you got, you can die now, you can die, you can die, there we go. I'm just gonna take out my arrows and start shooting you down, cause this is getting annoying. Now, shoot, I didn't get all of them, did I? I thought they would give me a chest for getting all of them. Like, come on, are you sure there's not any more? Oh, there is one more. There's a baby Goma over here. And yes, we do get a chest for defeating all the enemies in this room. I was right. Because I didn't think they would leave us hanging there. I knew they would give us a little treat for that, for cleaning all the spiders out of the room. And we got 50 rupees. Okay, that's not too bad. We have room in our wallet now. Yay! We didn't have room in our wallet before. And if we go over here, we will see a scale. Which, and of course it moves when you put weight on it. I mean, duh. Um, let's see, I don't think I can't actually get those statues there, um, maybe if I, yeah, I want to go on this side for sure, um, and if we look up there, there is a spinner rail, so we actually get to use the spinner again. I mean, it's, um, the spinner isn't a lost cause completely, so we actually get to use again. I wish we could use the spinner some more, but they don't let us do it very much, you know? There's a statue here that we can use. And see, look at all of the figures that are on this wall. It reminds me of that Jesus painting. I, I can't remember which one it is, but I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. Another reason why this could be a temple of... Uh, I didn't want to take out the ball and chain. A temple of light instead of a temple of time. Let's see, are you going to let me up there? Oh, can I even throw this up there? Guess I can. And we have to be standing on this little platform because that's the only way that we can grab onto this um, hook shot, or I mean claw shot switch. So that we can get up here where the spinner roll is. Yay. And we, oh, well, shoot. I wanted to, there we go. And yay! Whee! We got to use the spinner roll and there is a, well, I thought there was a, hold on a minute. I hear a, there you are. You were trying to hide from me, weren't you? I see you up there. Yes, there is a Poe up here. This is the second Poe that's in the um, Temple of Time. I think that's the last one. Because if you look, well, no, that's not my map. If you look on your mini-map, see, it'll give you a number telling you how many pose souls you can get in the temples. And we got, we already got two out of two. We are already on the seventh floor, guys. And there's another chest over here, too. So don't forget to get all the chests because they have good stuff in them. And we got another useless me-burst stamp. 
Okay, not all of them are useful because we can't even use the Miiverse stamps anymore, which makes me so freaking sad. Because Miiverse is gone now and it'll never come back unless they bring it back for the Switch. And I don't even have a Switch yet, so... <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm trying to save my money because... Um... Let's see, we need the claw shot again. I'm trying to save my money right now because I need to save up for like a car. And wow, I just hit his butt with his own helmet. And do these guys look familiar? They should because they are an enemy that we fought in the Lake Bed Temple. I think they're I think they're called Helmosaurs. I'm pretty sure that's what they were called. Um, we need to defeat this Armos now. And no, that's not what I wanted. Shoot, come on. I mean, it helps when you're not locked on to him because you can actually... There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And explode. Now, this room can be very confusing. Um, just because of the fact that, well, first of all, like when we're in this room, um, you have to remember something. Something important. And that's the fact that the boss key is in here. I mean, this dungeon is very linear, but you can easily forget about getting the boss key. So that's one thing you need to remember. And also, um, it's the fact, oh, but there is another chest up here. Yeah, really, like, I think the reason why a lot of people forget about getting the boss key is because they forget to go up to this room. I mean, I guess this room is kind of up, I don't know, up at the top. You know, where you have to take the spinner rail and everything to get up here. I guess that's why people um, don't remember to go up here. I mean, I'm thinking, I don't even know, actually, the reason why. And can we get that? Oh man, I, that's something I don't even remember. Honestly, though, since we defeated those Helmosaurs earlier, There's something useful that we can get. We can take their helmets, and I thought we could. Come on. See, I have to... You have to position them in a way that'll let you get them. And yay, we got one. So you can use the helmets or helmets to hold down these floor switches. So you don't even need that one statue that's up there because I know it's kind of hard to... Um, use the ball and chain on it. Now, there's another way that you can get the statues down, but I don't really want to spoil it for you. So, I'm not going to do that. So, you can just use these helmets or helmets so you don't forget about getting the boss key. I mean, because this temple's pretty linear for the most part, except for getting this. I don't know why but I, I found it pretty easily and we got the boss key well the big key I guess it's called so yeah now that we've gotten that I don't actually remember where we're supposed to go next huh I don't think we've actually been in this store yet, have we? Hmm. I guess not. 
And there's a Beemos. I don't like Beemos. I'm sorry. I'm probably going to end this episode off soon. So... I mean, I guess I should have ended it. Let's run with these guys. Let's see. That's not something we need right now. Yay! I didn't get hit by the spiky things. That is a... Ugh. I'm just jumping all over the place and not even hitting these guys. No! I wanted to do the helm splitter. Oh well, I can do the finish on you. There. Oh, we haven't even been in this room yet. This room is very different from the previous rooms. You'd think that spiky roller thing would just roll over the Lizalfos, but I guess not. And look, it's moving the ruby. That's pretty funny. Yeah, this room looks like a torture device chamber. Not very cool. Not cool at all. Like, it makes me wonder, though, what all this temple was used for. I mean, was it used to, to put as a prison? Or was it used to... I don't even know, to be honest. Like, it looks like some type of prison because of these things. But the rest of the rooms aren't all like this, if you think about it. And an enemy that never gets old. Never. Why are there so many freaking spiders? That reminds me of, um, you know, the, um, shoot. I don't want to break all of these pots. I might need some of them. You never know. It reminds me of the Chamber of Secrets. You know, follow the spiders. Oh man, more armo, snow. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, no. I'm walking onto the, the wrong enemies here. I thought I hit you once. There we go. And we need to get... Shoot, we need to get rid of you now. There. And... It's arrow time. Okay, got rid of him. Well, I thought I got rid of all you guys. There. And we get another chest for it, which is just so deja vu-ish. Because we've gotten chests for, like, all the spiders we've killed so far. And we get a purple rupee. Okay, that's not too bad. And you know what? I think at, um, we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. In the next episode, wow, this, my camera doesn't love this angle at all for some reason. It's looking shaky. But anyway, in the next episode, we are going to go deeper on into the Temple of Time. We are on the last floor, so all we need... Wow! In the next episode, we are going to get the item of this dungeon and hopefully kick the boss's butt. So I will see you guys then. Goodbye!